You don't have to drive or walk too far in Brooklyn to pass a mural painted on the side of a building. These giant scenes bring color and beauty to the concrete metal of the city. But murals aren't just window dressing. Many of them are memorials, and they can occupy a space in a person's heart unlike any other form of public art. You know, you might live 10 blocks away from here, but you walk by and you say, oh, wow, Jose, I miss you. Damn, it's been so long. You know, I remember you. You know, you meant so much to us. A memorial mural is usually a large-scale painting of a loved one who's passed away, painted with bright, vibrant colors that reach out and grab your attention. Sharon's brother Jose's mural is on the side of a bodega their family used to own. Elevated about eight feet off the ground, he looks out over the parking lot at the neighborhood he once loved so much. When my brother was ill, he knew he was, he just had months to live. Um, you know, I, I asked him what would he like, what would be his wishes, and he, he had three. He said, I want you to tell everyone that I'll be watching over them. Two, I want you to always speak to my nieces about me. And three, I don't want anyone to ever forget me. A few years ago, when blogger Sharon Quick first moved into the Brooklyn neighborhood of bed she began taking long walks to become familiar with the area. On those treks, she began seeing the murals. Eventually, she started taking photos of the paintings to preserve them and use those photos to create her blog, bed Banana. I started making a map of them. It's a Google map. I thought it would be interesting for other people to walk around and, and see all the memorial murals before they disappear. This is actually kind of interesting. It's a R.I.P. Raheem Johnson, also known as Young Buck. February 3rd, 1991 to July 18th, 2007. He was 16 years old, so it's fairly recent. It's not beautiful, like aesthetically beautiful. And it, it's clearly done by, I don't know, maybe his friend or somebody. This one, R.I.P. Matthew Brody. He was born April 15th, 1912, and he died April 15th, 1998. He was 86 years old. I, I, did, I like those ones interspersed with the gang ones, because I think most people, when they think, people who do know about R.I.P. murals, I think they usually think, oh, it's a gang thing. But I'd say more than half of them were not gang related at all. Well, right now we're in the Gowanus part of Brooklyn. Uh, it's a very uh, industrial corridor between Carroll Gardens, Borham Hill, and Park Slope. Connor McGrady is an artist and staff member of Groundswell Community Mural Project, a nonprofit that teams artists with Brooklyn kids to create public art. This street in particular is a very busy industrial corridor. And the reason we chose this location to do this mural is because of the amount of traffic on this street. Uh, 28 people were killed over the space of 12 years, really. Uh, which is a very high number. In 2007, Groundswell was approached by Transportation Alternatives to help create a campaign to make drivers aware of the pedestrians in the area. Initially, they were going to paint colorful signs for attention. But soon after the project began, tragedy struck again, and two children were killed while they were legally crossing the street. It became much more than a campaign to try to get the, the traffic slowed down. It, was, it became a very emotional project for the, for the team because they were working with the families, because some of them are from the community and, and didn't really know about, some of the kids didn't really know about these issues. So that team of young people who were actually working on this really had a sense of that this is not just a summer project to paint on a wall. It, it, it was a really uh, intensive emotional message and an important social message. The end result is a mural that can be seen clearly at the busy intersection. The wall is painted on is roughly 100 feet by 45 in height a team of artists used bright blues, yellow traffic signs, and an image of four children. In a city that moves at the speed of light, the one constant is change. And while some of these murals have a long life, many will fade away without anyone taking notice. They become a part of the landscape, the comfortable surroundings you take for granted until one day it's gone. But to the people whose loved ones are represented by these paintings, it's much more than beautifying an area or graffiti on the wall. It's a reminder of life and the hope that one day they'll meet again.